Hey, in case you spend too much time trying to figure out whether you're allowed to laugh at the Michael J. Fox Show, here are the stories you missed this week. I'm Julian Clark. And I'm Shannon Whitefield, and this is the TMI Minute. Grand Theft Auto V was released to an incredible response. The cost, $275 million, about the same as what was spent on The Lone Ranger. And Hollywood doesn't want to compare the video game industry to the movie industry, though, because Hollywood is stuck with Jerry Bruckheimer. The fifth installment of the Grand Theft Auto games takes place in a fictional city called Los Santos, which is set up to represent modern Los Angeles. The game is such a realistic representation of Los Angeles that you get a headache if your character eats gluten. Mm-hmm. Last time I played, I stole two cars, blew up two buildings, and got five auditions. Five auditions? That's not realistic at all. The response to the game has been so overwhelming that some users are encountering server issues when they try to log on. <laughs> Don't worry, Julian. It happens to guys all the time. It happened once. Breaking Bad is over, but not gone. Better Call Saul, a spin-off series, will be starting up soon. We have Frank Pacheco from Wizards of Waverly Place here to give us his top five countdown of spin-offs he would like to see. Thank you very much, guys. I'm Frank Pacheco, and I'm bringing you my top five spin-offs that I'd like to see. Number five, Game of Thrones has inspired a huge following, but there's one character that we can't get enough of, Hodor. We know there's something going on behind that thick skull. Just think, Hodor's reaction to Stannis? Hodor. Hodor's reaction to the Wildlings? Hodor. Hodor's reaction to the White Walkers? Hodor? This show would probably only last for one season though because George R.R. R. Martin would probably kill him off. Number four, what's your favorite part of Sherlock? If you said it's when Sherlock is solving crimes, you're absolutely wrong. We all live for that moment when Mrs. Hudson stops by to see how her favorite tenants are doing. You know, a series based on Sherlock's landlady would be great. She'd call in a repair to the plumbing. She went to court to settle a renter's dispute. What? Rent is due? Sweeps week! Number three, The Walking Dead is getting its own spinoff, and I think we all know the reason why. It's because zombies are in. So coming this fall to Showtime, it's the new series, Bloated. That's right, it's a Dexter spinoff. Deb is back, and this time she's a zombie. Some secrets don't last beyond the grave. Number two, How I Met Your Mother was on for eight years before we found out who the mother is, and now, with this final season, it's going to show us what Ted's romance is like. But what I can't wait for is the follow-up. Your mother's a lying whore. That's right. Watch how old Ted, still voiced by Bob Saget, tells his kids about the events that led up to his inevitable divorce from their mother. Now finally, number one. On Wizards of Waverly Place, I played Felix, a descendant of the great wizard Rinaldi and also owner of the most powerful wand in the wizard world. <laughs> After my stint with the wizards, I go on to achieve a greater calling. That's right. I play a magically inclined lawyer. And when cases don't go my way, all I have to do is wave my magic wand, say abracadabra, ba-boom! They're going to call it Legally Wand. Well, those are my top five spinoff picks of the week. I'm Frank Pacheco, and the defense rests. Meanwhile, back in Washington, D.C., the government shut... What do you mean, non-essential? We provide an important public service. Well, I guess that's it for us. Uh... When a story breaks, we'll be there with the crazy glue. I'm Julian Clark. And I'm Shannra Wakefield, and you've just watched the TMI Minute. Click here to subscribe to our channel and over here to check out more of our hilarious videos. Hey, can we at least get that panda cam going? For a while, scientists weren't sure if giant pandas were bears, but it turns out, yes, yes they are. Another fun fact about pandas, tastes like chicken.